Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Asus Tough A15 FA506 gaming laptop. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your memory if you need to upgrade your RAM or replace it. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. So you have these four screws on the bottom here, these three along the middle, and then these four up here. So remove all of your screws, guys. You'll notice this one down here for most of you will not be removable. You can unscrew it, but it'll stay in there, which is actually kind of nice because that gives you a little bit of lift on the bottom case to start off taking it off. You would then use a small flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools tend to scratch your case a little bit. So use a small flat plastic pry tool to finish this off. Start over here and go around the edge of your bottom case until you can pry the whole bottom case off. Nice and slow but firm. And don't put your pry tool too far in. You could damage some things when taking off a bottom case. Just keep it right on the edge and go nice and slow. After your bottom case is removed, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. As a general computer repair side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it is sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet go a long way to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on them. If you guys need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement parts for this A15 FA506, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, where you can find all those tools and supplies and all the replacement and upgrade parts, your batteries, your storage, your RAM, any replacement parts for this computer. Now, as a general rule of thumb, before I do anything inside a computer, I always remove or at least unplug the battery. It makes the computer a little safer to work on. To remove the battery, you have a screw right here near the left and a screw down here on the bottom near the corner. After removing those screws, your battery plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, as usual, I advise you to not pull on wires where you don't have to and instead manipulate the plug itself. So on a plug like this, you have a grip on either side. You'll use a small flat plastic pry tool and you can push on this side, push on that side, go back and forth until you've wiggled it out without pulling on the wires. Now that the battery has been removed or unplugged, we can proceed deeper into the computer. Your RAM is right here underneath this black little shield. After peeling this off, you will reveal the RAM. You have two RAM ports in this model computer. And the way that RAM works is you have a spring-loaded metal arm on either side of your RAM stick. The way to get your RAM out is to gently pry those apart from each other, away from your RAM. The RAM stick will release. Generally, it'll even pop up a little bit, and then you can slide it out of this port here. To put the RAM back in, you would slide it into these ports, and you have a long port and a short port, so you can only get that RAM stick in the correct way. You put it in there, make sure it's flush, and then you press down in the center, and the metal arms will latch onto it, securing it into place. Now, this computer has a max RAM capacity of 32 gigabytes. That means you can max out your RAM with two 16 gigabyte sticks. It goes for DDR4 at 3200 gigahertz. As mentioned before, there'll be a link above, also below in the description with all the tools, supplies, and replacement and upgrade parts for this model. And I'll have some RAM choices in there for you if you need. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.